Well, hello. It is August 22nd, 2022, and this is Thoughts from the Word. Well, hello, and welcome back to Thoughts from the Word. Uh, Today, we're going to look at a passage from Luke that's probably familiar, but it speaks to God's providence and His care for His people. Sometimes, Things happen in our life uh, and and we get discouraged and frustrated and we begin to think that God doesn't care or God doesn't provide. And, and, And that's just totally wrong. We need to understand that God is there, that God loves us. And in his providence, he allows situations, he allows things to happen in order for us to uh, look to him and trust and rest in him and his provision. And this passage speaks to that. Uh, speaking about our anxieties, speaking about our struggles, speaking about uh, looking to God to to provide and care for us when we need Him most. If you have your Bibles, turn to the book of Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12, we're going to look at verse 24. Hear now the word of the Lord. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have neither, neither storehouse nor barn. And yet God feeds them. Of how much more value are you than the birds? The grass withers and the flower fades, but the word of our Lord endures forever. Now, I will concede I read the last phrase of this this verse more as a question than as the statement in which it's stated there. Because it's a question I want us to think about. It's the question I want us to deal with uh, and wrestle with. How much more value are we of the birds? If God cares for the birds, for the ravens, they don't plant, they don't reap what they plant, they don't have storehouses or barns, yet God feeds them every day. We don't wake up in the morning and go out typically uh, and and find just a plethora uh, uh, of dead birds in our our front yard because God has stopped feeding them. They couldn't find food anywhere. Now, I'll grant that there have been occasions where some toxin or poison or something has gotten into the, the ecosystem around some place, and that may have happened, but this is just an ordinary day. An ordinary day, God cares for the birds, the ravens, uh, without any thought. We don't, we don't even think about it. We see them, they fly around, they're calm, they're, uh, they're all over the place, uh, but they find their food. God provides and cares for them, and if God provides and cares for them, how much more will he care for us? Sometimes we forget that and we, and we get frustrated because we're not seeing God's provision, God's providence, God's care working in our time frame. And I think therein lies our problem. I know it, it's mine, is that I want God to work in my time and in the way I want him to work instead of me putting myself into God's framework and allowing the Lord to lead and guide and dictate and provide. How much more valuable are you than the birds of the field or the animals of the jungle or the fish in the sea? God created all of those things, yes, but he created man to be with him and to have dominion over those things in order to enhance that that presence with God. He created us as his special creation, as his peculiar people, as his treasured possession. And we are to be with him. If he'll provide for the birds on a daily basis, will he not care and provide for us? Think about that today as you go through the day. How is God caring and providing for you? Thomas Watson in his book, The Lord's Prayer, writes these words, uh, which I pray will be an encouragement to each of us. If God is our Heavenly Father, let us behave ourselves as children of such a Father. Let us depend upon Him in all our straits and difficulties. Let us believe He will provide for our wants as children rely upon their parents for the supply of their needs. If we trust God for salvation, shall we not trust Him for our livelihood? We need to be careful of being distrustful. Would God feed the birds of the air and not feed his children? Consider the lilies. They do not spin, yet Solomon in all his glory was was not arrayed like one of these. Would God clothe the lilies and not clothe his lambs? Even the wicked taste of his bounty. His children may not have a liberal share in the things of this life, 
They may have but little meal in their barrel. They may be drawn low and almost dry, but they shall have as much as God sees to be good for them. Those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Psalm 34.10 If God does not give them what they want, he will give them what is good for them. If he does not give them what they crave, he will give them what they need. If he does not give them a feast, he will give them a portion by the way. Let them depend upon the Father's providence and not give way to distrustful thoughts and distracting cares, casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you, writes Peter in 1 Peter 5, 7. An earthly parent may have affection for his child and would gladly provide for him, but may not be able. But God is never at a loss to provide for his children, and he has promised an adequate supply. Will God give his children heaven and not give them enough to carry them on their way? Will he give them a kingdom and deny them their daily bread? Oh, put your trust in him, for he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Hebrews 13.5 Trust in the Lord that he will provide and he will care, for he will do that for us each and every day as we walk along this road we call life. Let's close uh, our time together in prayer. Father, we thank you for the provision and the care that you show us each day, that you uh, provide our bread to eat, uh, our meat to eat, that you provide what we need. Enable us, O oh Lord, to see your provision and not crave something beyond that. Enable us, O oh Lord, to trust in you, even when we uh, our faith is faltering to look to see that you were there carrying us through, providing and, 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 and uh, just looking over us. Father, be glorified in us today. Give us your strength. Take away our anxieties, for your word tells us to be anxious but for nothing, but in all things through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving to make our request known to you, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Father, guard our hearts and minds with that peace which surpasses all understanding and be glorified in us. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, thank you for being with me today. I look forward to seeing you and being with you all week as we gather together to hear some thoughts from the Word.